Okay, guys, um, you have seen a lot of videos about how can you use Windows 2000 as your main PC in 2020, and the answer is yes, you can, but you have to have the extended kernel and the SP4, um, the SP4, uh, um, update, um, First of all, I will show you that this thing does just as much as a Windows 7 can do. Not necessarily a Windows 10, but a Windows 7. It does just as much as it can do. And it's, it's, uh, I have AVAS internet security, as you see there. Um, but like I say, it plays videos and does just about anything a, a Windows 7 can do because it's been updated. But it's not, you have to use an updated software. You can't use regular Windows 2000. I mean, you can for games, but in old software, but not for modern hardware, modern software, and um, Internet Explorer, or Internet um, Browsing. And no, don't use Internet Explorer. Use Kmelon. It's the best um, Internet browser. Uh, like I say, it has bugs, but it's better than nothing. And yes, I just turned the computer on, so it's going to take a minute for the Kmelon to come up. Uh, just what I wanted to really show you was is that yes, it can use modern um modern internet uh, i don't really want to bring up facebook but i will bring up some other websites like um i'm catholic so we got catholic prayer um let's see we got um but one thing that's really weird is that windows 2000 usually can't do youtube well this can it, well it's going to take a minute because like i say it is windows 2000 it's a little slow but it can it can it can definitely do YouTube. Um, it's a little like I say, it's slower than a modern computer, so it's not going to be super super fast. But it's pretty nice. I mean, like I say, it's it's um it can do modern stuff if you have the update. So you just can't use a Windows two thousand for as your main computer without the updates. But that, anyway, like I was just showing you, yes, you can do modern stuff on there, but I want to show you, let's see, settings, let's see, um, program settings, control panel, let's see, where was, where is system, open, gotta be real careful, it does not mess anything up, it has SP, it has service pack 4, and it doesn't say anything about the extended kernel, but yes, it's on there, but it has the SP service pack 4, which makes modern internet work on a Windows 2000. The best thing to do is to take an old Windows XP, remove XP off the hard drive, and put Windows 2000 Professional SP4 update with the SP4 update and the extender kernel and it'll run just like a Windows Windows um, 7. And the thing about Windows 2000, unlike Windows XP, is a lot of XP and higher a lot of 2000, anything below XP, a lot of the games made in the year 2000 and below will not work on XP or higher. And, they, and I mean, they'll work on XP, but they'll be glitchy. They will not work on Vista 7, 8, 8.1 or 10, but they will work on the XP, but with glitches. With Windows 2000, they work fine with most programs. I don't really want to bring anything up, but I might bring... A sims up if I have enough time, but I just want to show you one game that does work, and that is RuneScape. And like I say, it's going to be slow because this is an older computer. But it, like I say, while it's loading, I'll show you. It's you know, it's just your basic HP compact computer. Um, but like I say, I'll just show you that yes, it plays um, multiplayer games. Um, I'll bring Sims up right before this video is over just to show you it does play, play a classic game and not just Sims, but Sims Complete Collection, which technically was designed for XP, but can run on 2000 if you have enough memory. This has enough memory. Um, let's see, let's put my stuff in. Yes, this should work on a multiplayer game. It was working earlier.
Yes, it works fine on a multiplayer game. Okay, um, but what I wanted to, some of the stuff I want to show you is, um, let's see. Like I say, it's got a lot of things on there. It's got, um, I'll show you the programs. Um, I've got, like, accessories. Uh, I've got, like, uh, one, I've got, um, an Odyssey client for hot, for, for, um, Wi-Fi. But I have, you have VLC player that you can watch DVDs on if you have a DVD drive. And the high-end 2000 computers do have DVD drives, just not the low-end ones. You've got Microsoft Word. A little slow, but yeah. Microsoft Word 2003. Um, you've got, um, let's see, programs. Let's see. Well, the good music, a good music um, thing to listen to is Winamp and not and not the uh, the standard um, uh, music player that Windows has. Um, like I said, I'm going to have to go to downloads. No, wait a minute. It's going to be under documents. Um, yeah, well, well, I'll show you the calendar first. It has a calendar. And I'm not talking about Google ca online calendar. I'm talking about a, so a software calendar. If it comes up. Like I say, it's a little glitchy, but it should come up. Let's see. Go to restore. There we go. It's got a calendar. Um, but what I kind of want to show you is the, um, the music. Let's see. Okay. Like I say, I have I have Word documents here, and yes, this is my main PC. So I love Windows 2000. I grew up with it, so I'm staying with it. Um, I like your pants your feet. But another thing, a cool thing about it, and yes, it has Avast Internet security, but it's not really updated very well. So I would recommend. I mean, you can use internet on windows 2000 just use facebook and youtube and that's it don't put don't go to banking information or stuff like that or put your social security number in because yes the antivirus will block all viruses like a normal computer but without the window without windows 10 updates windows 2000 no longer supported by microsoft so if it breaks you can't call microsoft for help and also if they don't give security updates so people could hack into your system even with the antivirus they can't you can't get a virus with the antivirus i mean you can but it'll help fix it but you can't you're not but it won't protect from hacking so that's that's the thing about this is that uh you need um not to put your personal information on you can use it as a main computer just don't use banking and personal information that somebody else can steal because like i say i don't care if somebody looks at my facebook page i just don't want nobody stealing stuff from my bank account so yeah um let's see i don't want let's see i'm trying to figure out how to open up a video um there's another i'll just show you the way i usually open the videos up uh you yeah, i go to i have a file here and i have videos and, um, like I say, um, uh, it had, you can play videos on here. You can play, you can play DVDs. Um, you can, um, do different things on here. I mean, it's like, I don't know. It's kind of, it's not, that's just the old videos. So that's why it's all glitchy, but it's not. Nothing to do, usually it runs pretty well. Um, the sound card's pretty good on here. Um, but before I let you go, I'll show you the, the big thing that it does, and that is Maxis Sims. And you go to this one. And there we go. It should, hopefully it's not going to crash. Sims Complete Collection. And before I turn this video off, I'm going to show you that it plays games. And yes, it takes a few minutes to load because it is Windows 2000. But, I mean, you know, 2000 hardware is a little slower than modern hardware. But you, but it's faster on the internet because it, you know, it doesn't have all that extra crap that, that, uh, 
that uh, Windows 10 and 7 has, but it's slower on games and stuff, but it's faster on the internet. And yes, it is faster on the internet with Windows 2000. You just can't use internet on normal Windows 2000. You have to have the extender kernel and the SP4 um, update. But like I say, um, it's pretty fast. It's a high-end computer. It was $2,800, around $3,000 when it was new. If you buy a regular Walmart Windows 2000 laptop that was about $1,500 or $1,000, it's not going to do anything with modern stuff. So you have to have, buy a high-end computer, put the, the uh, extended kernel on, and update it to SP4. And then you'll be able to do everything a Windows 7 can do. Uh, like I say, a lot of hardware is not going to work. It does work on USB drives, but like my printer, it's not working on it. But it does it does use the optical mouse and in first generation um, USB drives, just not the newer USB drives. But USB drive from 2007 or earlier, it will work. I love this game. This is like, this game is so cool. Let's see. It's hard to focus on here and play the game, too. Who, who can we get here to send to the hole before I turn the video off? Well, she's asleep, so... Let's see. You know, this is the regular... Let's see. Let's send her to the hole. She gotta wake up first. I might just go ahead and cut this video off because it's gonna take her a while to get to the hole. Let's go to the fast forward. Are you sure you want to jump in the hole? Yes, I want to jump in the hole. This is this is this this is worth it. I mean, and if you try to use Sims Complete Collection Sims One on a Windows Ten, it's going to work, but it's going to be slow. So you need a Windows XP or earlier to play Sims Complete Collection. I'm gonna ride this. Japalila. Oh, check the, Oh, look, check this out. Really, I don't want. I want to go. I'm. Let's see. What can we do here? Get off this. Go back to the hole. Go home. I just wanted to show you that this cool. That this is really weird. This ride on Sims. I mean, it's like. And like I say, this is not going to do Sims 2, 3, or 4. It's going to have to use Sims 1, but you could, you're not talking about Sims 1 that works on regular 98s and 2000s. I'm talking about uh, Sims Complete Collection that has all the, um, has all the, uh, the updates and, um, extensions. So quit, and you want to save? Yes. But, um, like I say, it does a lot of, like I say, I have Firefox on here, but like I say, Firefox really doesn't work. You have to have K-Melon, um, and you have to have WinApp for the music, K-Melon for the internet, and Avast for the internet security, and VLC to watch DVDs and down in any videos you downloaded. You can download music, too, from Amazon. You know, just don't use Amazon Player. Just download it directly to your computer. Um, like I say, I really don't want to play too much music on here because I could get a copyright violation, so we don't want to do that. <laughs> um, but like I say, um, you know, it just has, it's a pretty good computer. It's, uh, I'm not sure how much memory it has. It's, well, it's a little slow. Um, mom, I'm making a video. That's my mother. Um, anyhow, uh. It has, I'm using, I've used 12 gigabytes of hard drive space so far. It has 115 gigabytes left. Most Windows 2000s only have 30 gigabytes or less. So this has definitely had a lot of tweaks done to it to give it more space. I don't know how much the actual, I think it's about 2 gigabyte memory, the actual memory. But the hard drive space is about 115, 130, something like that. But the... The hard, but the gig, the memory is about two gigabytes, maybe one gigabyte. So, like I say, you know, it's typical, you know, but still, actually, I think it's about two gigabytes because if it was one gigabyte, it wouldn't have been able to play Sims. But anyhow, like I say, I'm gonna shut it down, and right before I shut it down, I want y'all to listen to this because y'all gonna get laughed at, okay? Or, and, and yes, it has really cool uh, sounds, and you can put on here. Okay, y'all listen. It's gonna take a minute. It's gonna be a little slow, but y'all listen. 
Shutting down is the slowest part. Everything else is fine on the computer. It just takes a while to shut down. Maybe if I pull out the optical mouse, it'll go faster. Because, yeah, sometimes if you have something stuck in the USB when you're shutting down and starting up, it messes it up. Y'all just got laughed at. Windows 2000 Professional. Yeah, and it does have the extended kernel. And it's the best computer you can ever have. And yes, this is my main computer. I have a Windows 10. I have a Chromebook that I use for video chat. But this is my main computer for everything else. You no, know, you can video chat with this. But yes, you can do it for every single thing else that you want to do with a computer other than video chat. So if I want to video chat with my niece and my new nephew, great nephew, or any of my friends, I use video chat with my Chromebook but if I want to do anything else on the internet or word processing or anything else I use this and now you can do word processing with a Chromebook so yes Windows 2000 is good for Chromebooks I mean Windows 2000 is good for word processing Windows 2000 is good for games Chromebook is not good for word processing or games but it's good for webcam and that's about it so this is basically my main computer the only time I ever use Chromebook is to uh, stream Hulu and and um, do webcam but as far as everything else this is my main computer and I just really like it and I think it's a good computer um, anyhow um, I'm, on, I'm going to turn it back on and just show you what I'm talking about before um, I turn the computer off is the HP it says invent let's see it takes a few minutes to boot up and then as soon as it boots up i'll cut the video off because i know y'all are getting tired of the video but you just wanted to learn can you use qwindows 2000 2020 and yes you can because all the other videos say you can't but they're stupid because they didn't know how to update the computer but yes you you can do it if you know how to update it um let's see if it comes on and this is what i'm gonna talk this is what i'm gonna talk tell you about and this is like what Look, see, it says powered by extended kernel. You have to have that. If you just have Windows 2000 Professional, it's not going to work on modern hardware. You can play old games, but you're not going to be able to use modern stuff. You have to have the extended kernel. Even with the SP4 update on a, on a Windows 2000 without the extended kernel, it's basically useless. But anyhow, like I say, you know, this is a pretty good laptop. And uh, I'm getting almost to 20 minutes, so I will cut this off in just a second. Um, I just wanted y'all to see it start up. It, I may have to go ahead and cut it off because it takes a minute to start up. Like I say, Windows 2000 is good. For, it's really fast computer. It's a lot faster than the 98, a lot faster than the XP. It's, it's just slow to boot up and shut down. Um, yeah, it takes a few minutes to boot up. Um, and Windows 10 takes a few minutes to boot up. What really boots up fast is Chromebook, but Chromebook don't do anything. So yeah, you have to have a Windows computer or a Mac to really do anything. Chromebook is just for internet. Uh, Mac and Windows is for everything else you want to do. And I've had Macs before, but I just like Windows 2000 the best because that's what I grew up with. Had one around the age 14, just kind of stayed with it for decades, and, uh, you know, got Windows 7, got Windows 10, got Windows Vista, got all those computers, never really used them, never really liked them, just kind of stuck with Windows 2000. This is not my original PC. This is a updated um, version, but um, the original one is not compatible with the kernel and the SP4 update, but like I say, this is a... A, um, this computer did have Windows 2000 and it was updated. It was a high end. It was about three or four, th about three, about three thousand dollars. So yes, it's a high end. So yeah. Basically, in that background, it was used in both, I believe, both 2000 and XP. But like I say, most people change their backgrounds. But so a lot of people like that background. Um, yeah, there's an Odyssey client. That's that's our Wi-Fi right there. Yeah. And yeah, you can get Wi-Fi in um in um in a Windows 2000 that has built-in card. You just have to download the client, the Odyssey client. But anyway, thanks for watching. God bless.